Certainly the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exhort his name to gain. God is great and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness, beautiful for every situation. The joy of the Lord is our strength today. I pray now that you're sharing. I pray now that you're tagging at least three people. If this gospel be hid, it is here to them that are lost. And we don't want anyone lost. And thank you. I pray now that you're sharing. I pray now that you're tagging. Let us pray. Gracious and eternal God, the creator and the preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual gifts, pray now that I might send thy blessings upon this your people that have come together in your name to give you glory and honor and praise. God, we've come today to say thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. Thank you for being a faithful and a just God. Thank you for being a right now God. Thank you for being a very present help God in times of trouble. Thank you now for healing our land. Thank you now for healing the people. Thank you now for our gathering together. Thank you for those that are joining us. Father, we thank you now, God. We pray now that I might heal, that I might deliver, and that I might set free. We pray now that I might overthrow the plans of Satan while we carry on for you. God, we love you, and we honor you, and we praise you now. I pray 
pray now, God, that you be glorified. And I pray now that the Holy Ghost would come in this room. And I pray now that you'd visit us in a strong and a mighty way, God. We love you, we honor you, and we praise you now. I pray now, God, that you would bless, heal, and deliver, and set free in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Out of the book of Psalms 47, verses 1 through 3, and it says, God heals our refuge and strength of every present help in trouble. Therefore will we not fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, and though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah, the word of God for the people of God. I pray now that you're sharing and that you're tagging. The praise team is coming at this time. How many know we serve a mighty God? How many know we serve a mighty God? How many know we serve a mighty God? Said, who is this King of glory?
you up? What did you bring this morning? 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 What did you come to give me? Did you come to give him glory? Did you come to give him honor? And did you come to give him praise? If that's what you brought, lift your hands, rod your head back, and shout! Somebody lift his name in the room today. Jesus, Jesus, you're welcome here, Jesus. You can dwell here, Jesus. You can dwell here, Jesus. You can dwell here, Jesus. You're welcome here, Jesus. You're welcome here, Jesus. You're welcome here, Jesus. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. For there is a name that's a place. I can run and be saved. There is a name that can heal. It calms my storm. Peace be still. I can call on that name and be saved. Cause things will change. So we'll stay There is no greater name than Jesus, Jesus. We'll stand and proclaim, there is no greater name than Jesus, Jesus. Said there is a place I can run and be safe. There is a name that can heal. It calms my storm. Peace be still. I can call on that name and be safe. No 
knowing things will change, so we'll stand and proclaim, there is no greater name than Jesus, somebody call the name of Jesus, stand and proclaim, there is no greater name. Then Jesus, then Jesus, say that name, that name, it works, it works, it works, say that It heals all diseases and it'll deliver you out of bondage. It works. It works. Say that name. That name. I'm a living witness that it works. I know that. So stop. There is no greater name than Jesus. Somebody call the name of Jesus. Say we'll stand and proclaim that there is no greater name than Jesus. Than Jesus.
that he should depart out of this world unto the Father. Having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil, having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and went to God, he rises from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh, cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, doest thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, if I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. It works, it works, it works, it works. His name is higher than any problem. His name can deliver you out of bondage. It works, it works, it works. Do you believe that? Do you believe that it works? Do you believe that there's power? Power in the name. Power in the name. Power in the name of Jesus. Said Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. The more I call him. His name said it's changing cause his name Oh it works I love to call him Oh I love to call him Oh I love to call him So glad it works It works It works Oh yeah It works
had given thanks, he breaketh and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken from you. Do this in remembrance of me. And they ate the bread together. After that same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. And they drink together. very sacred moment of what you called us to do. You called us to go into the highways and the hedges and to compel men to come that your house might be filled. God, you set this sacred time for us to come and now we ask now your blessings upon these ministers and these elders. Father, we ask you now that you will anoint them for the task. We pray now that you would give them power to do thy will. We pray now that you allow them to be an example to the world. We pray now that you allow them to be the salt of the earth. We pray now that you allow them to be one, that people always look at and see Christ. Father, I pray now thy blessings upon their lives. I pray now thy blessings upon thy seed, their seed, and their seed, seed. I pray now that you will increase them more and more. And I pray most of all, God, that your anointing will be upon their lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the, of the Father and of the Son and Holy Ghost. Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Credentials of ordination. Know all these men by these presents that we, the board of the Refuge Temple Holiness Church, under the protection of Almighty God, and with an eye single to his glory, by the imposition of our hands in prayer, at this day set apart for the office of elder in the Refuge Temple Holiness Church, if you will make concern, as a proper person to administer the Lord's Supper, to baptize, to solemnize the rite of matrimony, to bury the dead, and feed the flock of Christ so long as his spirit and practice are, are such as become the gospel of Christ. In testimony whereof, we are, we are here set out into our hands 
and sealed this fifth day of December, 2021. Credential of ordination. Know all, all men by these presents that we, the Board of the Rescue of Holy Church, under the protection of Almighty God, and with an eye single to his glory, by the imposition of our hands in prayer, have this day set apart for the office of ministers and evangelists and the refuge of Holy Church for who may concern as a proper person to feed the flock of Christ, so long as, as his spirit and practice are as such become the gospel of Christ and testimony whereof, here we will set our hands unto and seal this fifth day of December, 2021. Minister Fran Tatum, I bless you. Minister Charles Witcher, bless you. Evangelist Lily Jamison, God bless you. Minister Valerie Brooks, God bless you. Elder Deborah Penn, God bless you. Minister Ophelia Griggs, God bless you. Elder Brenda Clark, God bless you. Elder Michelle Morrison, God bless you. Elder Gladys Gravelin, God bless you.
give God a hand clap of praise for His goodness and His mercy and His loving kindness and His tender mercy. Just if you will, just tell your neighbor, neighbor, I got so much to thank the Lord for. Tell the other neighbor on the other side of you, I got so much to thank the Lord for. I got so much to thank the Lord for. You just don't know my story. You just don't know what I've been through. You just don't know what I've encountered. But God has been good to me. God has been good. God's been good to me. God's been good to me. beside today are you sitting beside a grateful person are you sitting beside a thankful person are you sitting beside one that can look back and see where the Lord done bought them from and said I may not can't dance but I can stand up on my feet I may not can't stand up on my feet but I can wave my hand I just want to tell God thank you for how good he been to me Cause I should have, should not be here If the devil would have had his way But 
that God has been good to us. That's a blessing in your present today. That's a blessing in your present. Just tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm a praiser. So anytime you sit beside me, expect a praise. You may be seated. wonderful. Thank God for this Holy Communion Day. Very sacred day. I thank the Lord. God is going to do great things. Oh yeah. Tell your neighbor miracles, signs, and wonders. That's what we expected. Y'all didn't say it with no power. Said that's what we expected. That's what we're looking for. God is so great. I want to thank God. I'm moving on. I certainly want to thank God for the lady that was here in our morning manor service who called me yesterday. No, not yesterday. Called me Wednesday or Thursday and said, Pastor, I want you to let you know that you're a true man of God. And she said, you were talking about a miracle was going to happen in our family. She said that a miracle really happened. She said the miracle that we were all thinking was going to happen didn't happen. It happened through my, through my cousin and my nephew. He was in prison and how the Lord blessed him and how the Lord has allowed him now to become the head uh, over 
a lot of people in this home and said the Lord elevated him and increased him and she said and I believe God for a miracle for my family she said and I just want to let you know that God is working miracles I tell your neighbor neighbor it's a miracle with your name on it God is so great tell your neighbor so don't get down and don't get discouraged it's a miracle with your name on it oh god is so great i'm gonna praise god thank you online you can see where you have our zoom bible study our zoom noon bible study then our tuesday night bible study then on wednesday night our bible study I'm say that again and then on sunday morning our sunday school you can take those codes and zoom in to be a part of of these Sunday schools and these youth Bible study and then this Wednesday night Bible study. Thank you so much and to those so many of you that joined us this Wednesday for prayer at 6.30. I want to thank you. Our numbers were way up and I want to thank the Lord for what the Lord is doing. Tell your neighbor there'll be no lack in this season. I'll have no lack in this season. None of my bills will go behind. In fact, my bills are going ahead. I'm going to be ahead when this season is over. Somebody need to declare it. Somebody need to declare it and believe God. Oh, this is a great time for the people of God. God is awesome. God is wonderful. God is a great God and greatly to be praised. I want to tell, I want to encourage every believer in this church today. I want to say this, I said it in Sunday school, I said it today. I don't want y'all to get in debt over Christmas. Did y'all hear me? I don't want y'all running up your credit cards. Did y'all hear me? I don't want y'all running up your credit cards. Somebody said, Pastor, why would you say this? Because when Christmas is over, I don't want you having some folks smiling and you frowning. Y'all didn't catch that. Or running from the mail, man. Tell your neighbor, this is going to be a blessed season. Oh, y'all ain't saying it like y'all believe God can do something for you. Somebody that believe God can holler it out. It's going to be a blessed season. Oh, he going to pour it down on me. Bless us. Thank you so much. God is so good. Our brother are getting ready to come as we give unto the Lord. The Lord loves a chill forgiver. And when you give unto the Lord, he will give back to you good measures. Press down, check it together, and running over it shall men give unto your bosom. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, every time I turn around. Oh, yeah, every time I turn around. The Lord loves a chill forgiver. And when you give unto the Lord, he will certainly give back to you. Good measures, press down, chicken together, and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom? A tenth of our income belong to the Lord, and when we give to God, God will give back to us. He will bless our going out and our coming in, our, bless, our basket and our store. And so at this time, we're going to ask everyone to make ready to come and give unto the Lord. There are ways online in which you may give unto the Lord. This time, the praise team is coming.
I do it. Let me folk know the Lord, I do it. Yeah, I do it every time. I said the Lord, I do it every time. Yes, he will, he'll do it. Thank you so much for your giving. Lord loves and she'll forgive him. Our Father and our God, thank you now for the people of God. For their giving, thank you that you said when we give, it shall be given unto us. Good measures pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall men give unto our bosom. So, Father, we say thank you now for these wonderful gifts. Now, Father, we pray now thousandfold return on their giving. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you so much. God is an awesome God, and certainly we give him all the glory and the honor and the praise for the great things that the Lord is doing. God is an awesome and an incredible God. And so we praise him for the great things that the Lord is doing. I'm going to ask every member in this church on the next Sunday, on next Sunday, I'm asking every member if you will give us one dollar. We want to donate to the Salvation Army and we do this every year. And our church always matches what we take up in the offering. And so on next Sunday, I'm going to ask everybody if you will give one dollar to our Salvation Army. Okay, we want to be a blessing to them, okay? Now, it may not, you say, my, my family, they don't need it. But somebody, I promise you, connected to you need it, need that help. And so they're helping people. And so we want to do that. We will not ring the bell this year. And so this year, we're going to send a donation. We do this every year, send the Salvation Army. And they are so grateful for the gift that this church gives them. They said you'd be surprised of the gifts that come in but they are really surprised at the gifts that come in from churches and so next week we want to do this to be a blessing to our salvation army and we want to be a blessing to them and thank you so much somebody said well i've heard money been put in the wrong places in the wrong hands let me tell you what when you give and somebody do something wrong with it, it ain't on your hands it ain't on your hands it ain't on your hands They'll have to pay if they misuse God's money. Thank you so much, though. I'm asking every one of you that if you would do that on for me on next Sunday. Thank you so much. God is a great God and greatly to be praised. And I certainly thank God for you, the people of God, for your help and your support in ministry. I do want to thank God. Many of you that are missing Wednesday night Bible study, you don't know the treat you are missing. Let me tell you what. Oh, let me tell you what. God has anointed Brother Ron to teach this, and I thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. And I'm telling you, you need to get our Zoom number. You need to get that Zoom number and share. I'm going to ask today all of our youth that help with our young people on Tuesday night if y'all will stay. All the youth that our youth leaders that help with our youth on Tuesday nights. If y'all will stay and please stay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alan Michael. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to thank them for the job that they're doing on Tuesday night, and they have been so, uh, and young people are enjoying it to the highest, and I want to thank God because I cannot do ministry all by myself, so I certainly thank God for the dedication of their hands and dedication of their service to our young people. Thank you so much, and I want to encourage those of you parents that do not have your young people online please get them online it's your responsibility to make sure your children are trained and raised up in the Lord now we let our kids get on Facebook we let them get on Twitter we let them get on everything snap we let them get on anything they want to you need to make sure that on Tuesday at 7 o'clock your child is on tell them you know it ain't gonna hurt you they're only on there 30 minutes sit right there beside them say now I'm over you going you're gonna watch today and see, let me tell you what, children may not like it now, but I promise you, if you deposit the right stuff in them, when they get in trouble, they'll remember what's been deposited in them. So thank you so much. Thank you. This time, praise team is coming back, and we'll be back with the word the Lord has given us for today. God bless you.
tried it over and over. But I found out that there is no other way that I can live without you. Anybody ever tried it over and over? Did any of y'all ever left gone? Huh? Huh? And found out you couldn't make it without him, you had to get back. Oh yeah, 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 y'all. Been in the church and y'all y'all hear me? Staying in the church, but but still my spirit left go. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Huh? Cause see, y'all only think the folk that backslide are the ones that leave the church. But you got some that come to church every Sunday that backslide. Oh y'all ain't saying nothing. tried it over and over and I found out that there is no other way that I can live without the Lord in my life he's been good to me how many folk thank him I said how many folk thank God thank God that when I left him he didn't leave me oh y'all ain't saying nothing <laughs> I'm gonna say that one more time and maybe somebody think about what he really bought you, what he really covered you from. Huh? What he really brought you out of, you hear me? Cause it was intended to kill you while you were out there. But tell your neighbor, neighbor, there is no way I can live without him. That's a good post for somebody to put up this week. There is no way I can live without him. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. But tell your neighbor, neighbor, I thank God. Grace and mercy bought me back. and mercy bringing you out of it. How many folks can thank God that you can look back and say, I know but nothing but grace and mercy brought me out of this.
you. Thank you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, don't miss the move. that we deal with in the church a whole lot today. Tell your neighbor it's going to be a good move. And my cup runneth over and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. chapter beginning at the 8th verse Malachi 3 and 8 verse then we're going down to verse is it verse 10 8 I mean the verse go down to verse 10 I think no verse 12 okay verse 12 thank you let's read by Bobby if you will will a man rob God will a man rob God yet yet Ye have robbed me. Ye have robbed me. But ye say. But ye say. Wherein have we robbed thee? Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. In tithes and in offerings. Ye are cursed with a curse. Ye are cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me. For ye have robbed me. Even this whole nation. Even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes. Bring ye all the tithes. Into the storehouse. Into the storehouse. That there may be meat. That there may be meat. In mine house. In mine house. And prove me now herewith. And prove me now herewith. Saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not. If I will not. Open you the windows of heaven. Open unto you the windows of heaven. And pour you out a blessing. And pour you out a blessing. That there shall not. That there shall not. Be room enough to receive room it. Room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke and the devourer. And I will rebuke 
the devourer for your sake. For your sake. And he shall not. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither. Neither shall your vine. She shall your vine cast her fruit. Cast her fruit before the time of the field. Before the time in the field. Saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. And all nations. And all nations shall call you blessed. Shall call you blessed. For ye shall be a delightsome land. Because ye shall be a delightsome land. Saith the Lord of hosts. Saith the Lord of hosts. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, giving to the Lord. What is a tenth is defined, its definition comes from the Hebrew and the meaning tenth. In the Old Testament, we observe Abraham and Jacob offering a tenth to God. In Genesis 14, 2 and 8 tells us that Israel were commanded to tithe from what they earned. In Leviticus 27 and 30, in Numbers 18, 25 through 28, and in Deuteronomy 14 through 20, uh, 14th chapter, the 22nd through the 24th verse. The Bible tells us that tithe is a way to show that we trust God with our lives and our finance. Really, for a true bomb, for a true bomb, tithing isn't for God's benefit. It doesn't need, God doesn't need our money. Instead, tithing is a means for our benefit because sacrifices are a part of it, of our income, reminding us that we are to truly trust God and that we are dependent upon God to meet our needs. I hope y'all caught that. It is said and it is true it involves billions of people and worthless, the funds are being embezzled from God. Come on, you say nobody would be naive enough and ignorant enough to hear, not to hear the message of the God's celestial message from the, from the room. Ye have robbed me billions of the earth. People embezzling, embezzling God's finance. Amazing as it may seem. And, and as awful as it may seem, y'all, God's money is his money. And what belongs to God belongs to God. Let's look at the Bible's fact concerning this embezzlement scandal. According to the Bible, what portions of our income belong to the Lord? The Bible said in Leviticus 27 and 30, and all the tithe of the land is the Lord's. In other words, God gives us uh, a dollar. God says, now out of the dollar, you give me 10 cents and you can keep the 90%. I will give the children of Levi all the tithes of Israel for an inheritance, the tithe of the children of Israel. I have given to Levi to inherit. Numbers 18, 21 through 24. It is true, one-tenth of a person's income the word, the word literally tithe mean a tenth. Uh, did y'all hear me? It literally means a tenth unto God. And hey, when I tithe, I am not making a gift. I'm simply returning to God what already belongs to him. It's already healed from the beginning. Y'all can pray with me in a moment. Did Jesus abolish the plan of tithing? In Matthew 23 and 23, it tells you because many people say it's not in the New Testament, but it is. Read, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees and ye hypocrites, for ye pay tithes of mint and have omitted and scrambled and have omitted the weight of matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done and not left the others undone. In other words, Christ said, after you've done them, don't leave the others undone. You should tithe. You should give to the Lord. Uh, uh, yeah, no, on the, con uh, on, uh, no on, the, on the contrary, he endorses it. Jesus was rebuking the Jews for omitting the more important matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith, even though they were merciful. 
and meticulous tithers. He then wanted them plainly to understand that you also need grace and you also need mercy. If we've ever needed grace, if we've ever needed mercy, we need it now. We need to give God that portion belong, that belongs to him. And when we give God that that belongs to him, then God made us a promise as believers and children of God. Out of the book of St. Luke, the 11th chapter and the 42nd verse. But Bobby, will you read that for me? Luke 11, 42. Mm -hmm. Byron, when we get chance, we're going back to that. The dimes, okay? Let's 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 go. But woe unto you. But woe unto you, Pharisees. Ye Pharisees. For ye tithe mint. For ye tithe mint. And root. And root. And all manner of herbs. And all manner of herbs. And pass over judgment. And pass over judgment. And the love of God. The love of God. These ought ye to have done. Ye have what? These ought ye to have done. These ye have ought to have done. And not to leave the others. And not to leave the others. Undone. Undone. So you're not to leave these undone. Second Corinthians 9 and 6, can you? Where was it first mentioned in the Bible? First tithe was made biblically happened in Genesis 14, 19 through 20. The first person to do this, to do this in the Bible was Abram, Abram which his name was changed to Abraham. More well known as Abraham returned from the battle and was met by Melchizedek. During their encounter, Melchizedek, Abraham, Abraham won a victory. And because he won a victory, Abraham responded to the blessings in gratitude and gave Melchizedek a tenth of all his possessions. And he blessed him and said, blessed be Abraham the, my, by God, the most high possessor of heaven and earth. The blesser be God most high who have delivered your enemies into your hands. And Abraham gave a tenth of everything. The Bible talks about next Jacob was one. Jacob offered the second tithe that's in the Bible, recorded in the Bible over in Genesis 28, 20 through 20, 22. Jacob responded to a dream he received from God by building an altar and a vow. That he, he, he gave, uh, that the Lord gave to him. And in so he returned to God and gave God a tenth of everything that God gave him. After just the dream, y'all. After just the vision. Okay, go ahead. But Bobby, do we have that scripture? Second Corinthians 9 and 6. But this I say. But this I say. He. He. Which so it sparingly. Which so it sparingly. Shall reap also. Shall reap what? Also. Also what? Sparingly. He that's, he that what? So sow it what? Sparingly. He that sow it sparingly shall what? Reap also. also reap sparingly. Sparing. When you give, when you don't give, then you don't get. When you give, then you get. It's a giving process. It's giving. Giving was all in it. Jesus gave his life, y'all. And I know that when you tell me as a child of God, or you tell me that you're a blood-washed Christian or a blood-washed believer in God, tithing should never be a problem for you as a believer because it's nothing but trust in God. And as believers, we do trust. Did y'all hear me? I know it's quiet in here. But as believers, we do what? We trust God. We do not lean upon our own self. We do not lean upon the arms of flesh, but we lean upon God. Abraham and, and Abraham and Eve. You remember how they, they took up that tree that God told them not to take up? And in the same manner, when you read, when you look at our lives, God has told us that I commanded you not to take that tent that belonged to me. When I return to God a tithe, I make him a partner in everything I go to do. Tell your neighbor in everything I go to do. Proverbs, let's go to that. Proverbs 3 and 9. I have to make sure everybody understands this. Show. Honor the Lord. Honor the Lord. With thy substance. With thy substance. And with the first fruits. And with the first fruits. Of all thine increase. Of all of thy what? Increase. Increase. So in other words, God says to us as believers, out of everything you get, he said, honor me. 
In other words, y'all hear me? He said, honor me with everything you get. Give it to me, the first fruit. Because many of us believers and many of us say that God was not talking to us when we were on Social Security. God won't talk to us that are on a fixed income. But the Bible plainly tells you, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all of thine increase out of everything that come in your hand. God said to honor me with it. And when you honor me with it, I'll bless you. All right. I want to use my illustration today. Uh, what is offering? An offering is an expression to God. When you bring God an offering, it's an expression of how grateful you are to what God has done for you. Y'all get that. Now, my tithe is something that's been commanded of God that I give him. But my offering is an expression to God. Saying to God, God, I'm expressing to you how much I thank you for what you've done for me. That's why we keep giving offerings. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. You may go to, you may have church on Sunday and give an offering. And then you may go Wednesday and give an offering. Because we constantly give an offering. Because it's an expression to God for how good he's been to me. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, give, and it shall be given unto you. All right, all right, all right, all right. My praise team, if y'all will line up here, I want to make my illustration, and I'm going out of here. Chris, play me something while we do this, if you will. All right. All right. Just, okay. All right. Now I want you to open it up, Jess. I want you to not open it up big because of Look at it, okay, well, you can just get one out. Can I make my illustration today? Then I'm going to get on out of your way. Okay. Now, but John, you come in first. All right. So this is the Lord's. So you give God one. Now, this is yours. You give God ten. You give God nine, excuse me. No, just nine of them. So we can make it plain. Now, did y'all y'all catch this? Now turn around, but John. Did y'all catch this? She gave God one, and then she kept nine. And then God still blessed her. It's more in there, isn't it? Did y'all y'all catch that? It's more, she has still has more because she gave God this. Then God told her she could keep this. But then he left her with something more. Tell your neighbor he'll give you more. Okay, come on. Stand, stay, stay where you at, okay, if you will. Stephanie, give God one. Give yourself nine. Tell your neighbor that's what he'll do for you. Okay, now you you left with some, ain't you? Okay, all right. God, because he gives seed to the. Okay, all right. Come on, come on, Amanda. You give God one. You got a family, huh? You got children, huh? You got obligations, but you stop to give God what belonged to him right then you gave God then God left you with nine right and then in return God left you with some more right cause he gave it seed to the okay y'all gonna get this in a moment y'all gonna get this in a moment come on destiny I'm closing out y'all you gave God his one his ten percent right then in return you give God what nine Then, then, then God gave you what? He left, he left you with some, didn't he? he? Wonder why he left you with some? Because he gives seed to the... Y'all gonna get it. He gives seed. Y'all gonna get it before I leave here today. He gives seed to a... Okay, okay now you, you got your own house, right? You paying your own light bill, right? You paying your own car payment, right? You ain't, you ain't got no sugar daddy giving you all your... Paying all your bills, have you? Huh? Huh? But but you got some left. But they say you got to have a sugar daddy. 
get y'all, y'all get this, get this good, y'all. But he still left you with some, right? And he still left you looking good today, didn't he? Woo. Good God Almighty. Come on, Lisa. Wait a minute, y'all. God ain't got no whole lot. You got a whole lot, y'all. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. One. All right, you gave God his part, right? Huh? You gave him. You gave him all of it, and then you still got, still got some what? You, you got some left over because God it don't take God a whole lot, y'all. He can work with the left, you the what you got left over, y'all. God will work with what you got left over, y'all. He'll work with what you got left over, y'all. He'll bless you, press down, shaking together, and running over. Tell your neighbor, me and she'll give to me. Come on, Rod. Whew. Rod, giving God, giving God 10%. Now you're going to give yourself what? And, and you, you, got, you got something left over? Huh? You, you mean to tell me you got something left over out there? After you done gave God what belonged to him and you out on your own, you, you got your own car payment, you got your, huh? You got your own rent, you got your, and you could have get your own house. increasing you more and more he's multiplying your seed he's multiplying your seed he's multiplying your seed tell your neighbor he's multiplying my seed but y'all see God ain't got a whole lot to work with y'all think he don't with more than God's left with but see what God does he blesses me because I gave him the tenth I can do more with the 90 percent than I can with the hundred percent did y'all catch that I'm more blessed with the 90 percent than I am the hundred percent y'all so I give God what belonged to him and you know what happened he give it back to me he give it to me and the blessings come here but John y'all follow but John and see what happens when I give to God the blessings 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 they follow me they follow me they follow me God does for me because I kill the God. He kills me. Good. Now what I want y'all to do, I want y'all to say it as loud as you can. He gives me what? to do what okay tell your neighbor it's my season for people to bless me and to help me
tell your neighbor it's elevation time. He gives you what? Creative ideas. Gives you what? Creative ideas. You know that was for you, right? You, you know he gives you creative ideas. You, you know, there's some creative ideas that are coming. There's some creative ideas. Something so nobody else has ever thought of doing. Something that nobody else has thought about stepping out and doing. He's giving you creative ideas. Cause you just gave God 10%. He's giving you creative ideas. Tell your neighbor on your left and on your right. God's getting ready to show himself. Wonder where in the world that person come up with that idea? What in the world? I never would have thought of that. But God will give you creative ideas. Tell the people around you creative ideas around us. What will it do, Lisa? this. This is what God will do for you. Tell the people beside you, this is what God will do for you. This is what he's going to do for you. He'll do what, Rod? He's going to look after your business or job. Look out for your business or your job. God's going to look out for your business or your job. God's going to see to it that all of your needs are met. God's going to see to it that everything you need, you get. All your needs are met. Somebody tell God, thank you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, I want you to know all your needs going to be met. you he's gonna protect and cover your family when you pay your tithes he's gonna protect and cover your family when you rightfully give God what belong to him don't give God half of his tithe give God all his tithe and when you give God all that belong to him he's gonna give it to you press down shaking together and running over shall men give unto your bosom cause you give unto the Lord huh now John has one bag that we didn't we didn't drop anything in there. Come here. Now I want you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm just gonna drop one tenth. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, and I'm gonna live on the ninety percent. Because it's a blessing to live on the 90%. Tell your neighbor, give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measures, press down, shaking together, and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom. This is one of the greatest times in the church. This is one of the greatest times in the hour that we live in now that God is getting ready to show himself strong and mighty. There'll be no lack. All needs will be met. God will supply all of your needs, I promise you. All of your needs will be met. And I can promise you today, when you give to the Lord, he's going to give it to you. Press down, shaking together and running over. Somebody open your mouth and start thanking God for what God is getting ready to do for you. Come on all over this house. Begin to thank God for what he's getting ready to do for you. Come on and begin to thank God for what he's getting ready to do for you. If you really believe God, come on and clap your hands. Come on and open your mouth and bless God in this place. This is just trust in God. 
I'm going to give God. Then I'm going to live on the 90%. And I'm going to trust God. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you're seated beside a lender and not a borrower. You're seated beside the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm blessed in the city and I'm blessed in the field. Somebody tell him thank you. Thank y'all. God bless you. I'm through. Now do y'all see? They got something to take with them. Don't you know God will give you something to take with you? Did y'all hear me? God will give you something to take with you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, before 2021 go out, none of my bills will be behind. waiting for y'all to really believe God I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm believing it I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm giving you a moment to really believe God I'm giving a moment to really believe God, to believe God, to believe God, to believe God, to believe God. Somebody in this room, they're already behind, but before the year go out, they'll be ahead. They may be already behind, but before the year go out, they'll be ahead. Come on, somebody believe God. Come on, somebody believe God. Somebody clap your hands and give him praise. your neighbor neighbor you're seated beside a blessing I'm blessed I'm blessed I'm blessed and my family's blessed I'm moving perhaps there's a sinner perhaps there's a backslider perhaps there's one that don't know the Lord in the free part of your sin you want accepting as your person the Savior, I want you to get up and come now if you don't know the Lord. Lord, I did what you told me to do. That's all God told me to do, and I did what he told me to do. I did what he told me to do. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, you better get ready for the overflow. The overflow is happening. 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 Is there one that want to join the church on your Christian experience? You're here today and you don't know the Lord. I want you to get up and come now. If you don't know the Lord and you want to accept him as your person, a Savior, I want you to come now. If you don't know the Lord, won't you come now? Won't you come while the blood is running warm in your veins? If you don't know the Lord, why don't you come? You want to become a part of this church? You're here today. Today is a good day. It's a good day for you to become a part. You've been putting it off. You've been putting it off and you've been putting it off. Today is a good day for you to come. If you're here today, won't you come? If you're here today, get up and come. Somebody clap your hands and believe God. There is somebody in this room. You're here today. You're here today, and I know you're here. You're pulling on me. You're pulling on me. Don't worry about what everybody else is saying. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, his delay is not his denial. Just because he ain't done it yet, don't mean he ain't going to do it. Ah, just because he ain't done it yet, don't mean he ain't going to do it. God's doing great things. God is doing great things. God is doing great things. Tell your neighbor it's going to be big. Real big. That one, that desire prayer today. Desire prayer today. I want you to come if you desire prayer today. God is an awesome God. God's a healer. God's a deliverer. God is a sanctifier. God is one that will keep his promise. If you're here today and you desire special prayer, I want to give you a chance to come. Try Jesus. He's all right. Oh, try Jesus.
Jesus. Oh, he's all right. Oh, try Jesus.
it's your time to do solo on it.